Heaven again, advocate, spirit of truth, who are present, fellow things, treasure of blessing, bestow of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of what defiles us, and a good one save our souls. Glory to God in the highest, and peace of man, good will. Glory to God in the highest, and peace of man, good will. Lord, you will open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from the high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed Patriots, Sviroslav, most reverend Metropolitan, Boris, our God, loving Bishop Bohdan, the reverend priest, who did the yacht, and in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our nation under God, for our government, for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and country and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those all captive and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all our parishioners in nursing homes, in hospitals, and those who are uh, sick at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the end of abortion and protection of the unborn children, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For vocations to the priesthood, the yachnet and monastic life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, your most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in the whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Shout to the Lord of the earth. Sing now to his name. Give glory to his praise through the praise of the Mother of God. O Savior, save us. Say unto God, how awesome are your works. Because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies will fly to you. Through the praise of the Mother of God, O oh, Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Let it sing to your name, O oh, Most High. Through the praise of the Mother of God, O oh, Savior, save us. Glory be to 
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save. Have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember your most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in a whole life to Christ our God. To For you are a good and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us to sing to you. Alleluia! Let us come before His face with praise and acclaim Him in psalms. Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia! For God is the great Lord and the great King of all the earth, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, Son of God, Risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Angelic powers were upon your tomb, and the gods became like dead men. Mary stood before your tomb, seeking your most pure body. You captured Hades without being overcome by it. You met the Virgin and granted life, O Lord, risen from the dead. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. The time for action is now revealed. The judges are at the door. Let us rise then and keep the fast. Offering tears of contrition with arms and crying aloud. Our sins are more numerous than the sands of the sea. But forgive us, O Maker of all, that we may receive incorruptible grounds. For you are a God, a holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us.
Let us be attentive, peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. You are Lord will guard us and will keep us from the generation and forever. Save me, O Lord, for there is no longer left a just man. You, O Lord, will guard us and will keep us from this generation and forever. Wisdom. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, Lord of old, you established the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. All of them will grow old like a garment. You will roll them up like a cloak. Like a garment, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. To which the angel is, God ever said, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Are they not all ministering their spirits, sent to serve those who are to inherit salvation? In view of this, we must attend all the more to what we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the words spoken through angels stood unchanged, and all transgression and disobedience received its due punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore a salvation as great as ours? Announced first by the Lord, it was confirmed to us by those who had heard him. Peace be with you, wisdom. Let us be attentive. Alleluia. Alleluia. Wisdom, stand there right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel, peace be with all. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel up according to Mark. Glory be to you, Lord, glory be to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus entered Capernaum after some days, and it was heard that he was in the house. Immediately, many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them, not even near the door, and he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him uh, because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. And some of the scribes were sitting there and uh, reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But immediately, when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they reasoned thus within themselves, he said to them, Why do you reason about these things in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Arise, take up your bed, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went out in the presence of them all, so that all were amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. Glory be to you, Lord, glory be to you.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to him My dear brothers and sisters, a man walks into a bar and orders three beers. Seeing that he's uh, alone, uh, the, the bartender is a bit confused, but he still pours the man his beers and brings them to his booth. He drinks one after another and then just leaves without saying a word. The next week he comes again and does the same thing. The week after that, again. By the fourth week, the bartender says, I gotta ask, why do you keep ordering three beers and drinking them all by yourself? The man says in reply, oh, you see, I used to go out drinking with my brothers, but unfortunately they all moved away. So now in each of our cities, we each have three beers, uh, one uh, for each of us, in commemoration of our time past. Oh, that's really interesting, a great, a great way to keep in touch, replies the bartender. He does this for another couple of weeks until he walks in one day and says, I'll just have two, please. And you can see the sadness on his face. And the bartender immediately feels this. How does this, uh, he, do, uh, he does this week after week only on ordering two until the par bartender finally says, I'm so sorry for your loss. The man says, what are you talking about? Well, you used to drink three beers, but now it's only two, so we all just assume that uh, something happened to your brother. Man looks at him and says, oh no, no, that, that's not it at all. The two beers are for my brothers, but it's Lent, and I gave up drinking. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue the journey through this wonderful time of land, this holy time of repentance. During uh, this great fast, we take our souls for a special evaluation. It is something similar to what we do when we go to the doctors for our yearly physical checkup. We do our blood work, have a, our vitals checked to see our body's overall health. When we get results, uh, we, uh, the doctor usually addresses some of the irregularities we may have. And something I notice, the, the older you become, the more there is to address. The same is with our souls. We need to take care of them and the, in the same way as we take care of our bodies, if not actually more. We need to identify some of these irregularities that we, we have in our lives so that our life may be wholesome. And most importantly, this is uh, of vital importance, be ready to enter God's kingdom, which belongs only to those who are willing to acknowledge and own their brokenness and then come before the divine physician to heal the disease of sin. In today's gospel, we hear about Jesus healing a paralytic. But the way he did that is rather revealing about the cause of that man's illness. It was his sinfulness. Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. And only then does Jesus heal the man from his illness. I used to wonder why Jesus came to this earth. Why did he become man? And today's gospel, as well as the whole Bible, really tells us Jesus came to forgive our sins, to save us from sin. He did not come to make our lives easier or even happier. He came to forgive your sin and mine. The reason being we cannot address sin ourselves. Once we commit sin, it stays with you, like a stain that just refuses to come out of your t-shirt. Only God can take your sin away. Like cancer then, sin stays and corrupts you, your relationships with God, with your family, 
and your friends, just takes a piece away, takes everything that is good and just squeezes it out of you. All of these things happening in the world today, so much violence and injustice in our country, in the whole world, is because of sin. God hates sin because of what it does to his children. So God sent his only son to address it. Jesus has this power, has the power to forgive sins. Because, well, because he is God. The Pharisees from the gospel today were right. right? Only, only God can forgive sins. And Jesus is God. But you know what is so wonderful about Jesus? He took that power, this authority that he had to forgive sins. And guess what he did with it? He gave it to humans after his death and three-day resurrection, he appeared to his apostles and gave them the power to forgive sins, saying, who sins you forgive, they are forgiven, and who sins you retain, they are retained. It really blows my mind that God gave the power to do something that only he does, that he gave that power to this mere imperfect humans. That is why we are so fortunate to be part of the true church that, that continues that God's command to forgive sins. We call that confession. For this reason, you constantly hear me urging you to go to confession. In fact, the health of any parish, any Christian community uh, can be assessed by how many people go to confession. If people don't go to confession, that community is struggling uh, spiritually. Let me address uh, one excuse that people have um, uh, not to go to confession. They say that they confess their sins straight to God. And you know what? You should. You should confess your sins to God every day. We need to examine our conscience, and ask God for forgiveness. However, that is only a first step. Repentance is a process, right? In, in church, we have five steps to make good confession. Repentance is a process. And in the end of this process, God uses a human person, priest or bishop, to reconcile that person with God and his church. That is how Christ wanted it done. Confession, in fact, is one of the seven sacraments, sacraments through which God chooses to give his special grace to us humans, to unite us with him. Priest is just a, an unworthy vessel, tool, a tool, so to speak, which he uses to achieve that. So, um, whoever says we, uh, who says we, we need to go to confession? Jesus does. And no person in this world can say otherwise. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to close with this. I am a priest today because I experienced God's love and forgiveness decades ago when I uh, was a teenager. When I went to confession one time. And today, I am standing here before all of you, trying to help you connect with this merciful and forgiving God, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to him forever. Let us all say with the whole soul, the whole mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord God, our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God. In the greatness of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We, O 
also pray for most holy and reversal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, our most blessed Patriot, Sviatoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Boris, our God-loving Bishop Bogdan, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our nation under God, for our government and for all the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people here <clears throat> present, who await your great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, so that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim, and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving, life-giving Trinity. Now lay aside all colors of May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our most holy universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, our most blessed Patriot Sviatoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Boris, our God-loving Bishop Bogdan, all the priestly, diaconal, and religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military, the noble never to be remembered, founders and benefactors of this holy church, and all you Orthodox Christians, always, now and forever and ever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For oh, the precious gifts which have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your Spirit. Let us love one another, so that we may be one mind in confessing. Love Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one and being, and a divided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, 
light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear. Let us be attentive to offering peace, the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is when us above. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the This is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. The ring of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, or which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you, we bless you, we thank you, Lord, and we pray to you, our God. Especially for most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly right to bless you, truly right to bless you, O God, bearing one. As the Blessed and immaculate Mother of God, Mother of 
the first, remember, Lord, our most holy universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, our most blessed Patriot, Sviatoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Boris, our God-loving Bishop Bohdan, for the sake of your holy Church, as grant that they may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for the precious gift which have been presented and consecrated. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that our loving God has received them as a spiritual fragrance upon his holy, heavenly, mystical altar. May send down in us in, on us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Lord this for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For the forgiveness and the remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian and to our lives, one that is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Having asked for unity of the faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and a whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. And make us worthy, our Master, with confidence and without condemnation to the call you, the Heavenly God, Father, and say, Holy Father, who art in heaven, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To Grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us uh, be attentive to the holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him.
Lord and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has appeared to us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Save your people, O oh God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided trinity. For having saved us. Blessed be our God. Always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. May our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. I am it is worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. And the right, having received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having us that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and a whole life to Christ our God. To you. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. And let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You bless those who bless your Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, our nation, under God, to our government, and to all your people. For all good giving, ever perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever. Blessed be the name. The 
the blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to your Christ, our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give a blessing. <clears throat> Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop Constantinople, and all the saints, will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Oh. 